Hi, today we're talking to Mercedes Austin from Mercury Mosaics, and it's going to be super, super exciting. I can't wait. I'm Peter in New York City. And I'm Mariana in Seattle, and you're watching Shelter. All right, Mercedes, thank you so much for joining us on Shelter TV. It is such an honor to have you here. I am so glad to be here. Thanks for choosing me. We're huge fans of Mercury Mosaics, and we really love what you do. I mean, the tiles that you make are just so artfully done. Question number one for you is, you know, you call yourself an entrepreneur. So can you tell us a little bit about the journey to make Mercury Mosaics what it is today? I think I always really had this itch to grow something. It's about 20 years ago that I landed on discovering mosaics. Didn't even know what a mosaic was until my college roommate was working on just a copy table with remnant tiles. It really captured my attention. I was very interested in what she was doing. I started by making very small decorative things that you could put in your home, very much like the things behind me. I really became enamored with what my mosaics would look like when they were made purely with my own handmade tile. I kind of joke around that I've been on a 16 year journey of just like creating my own supply chain as a mosaic artist. And it really has been a journey. And calling myself an artpreneur is really because I'm still leading my company from an artist's point of view, but I'm guiding decisions because I'm responsible for the employment of 33 people. I'm guiding my decisions also by creating a livelihood that they're going to be supported by and able to grow. So when you talk about shapes, you know, because what I find very interesting about tiles are the shapes. And you have very interesting shapes. How do you decide on those? So we are super excited. We have a brand new shape collection coming out in just a couple of weeks. And I have not launched a new shape since August of 2016. So that's very exciting. You'll see some triangles dropping on the site and some gorgeous color palettes that you can mix those in. But the best way that I can say that I decide on shapes and what we'll work on next are, so I like things that play with the standards that we're working with. So like there's diamonds of ours that play well with our hexagons, which then play well with our kind of ability to have them dance. And now we're coming out with triangles that are gonna help play in that pattern. So for us, we really feel like we're just kind of scratching the surface on patterns. And so being able to take our color sensibility and plugging it and weaving it into these very versatile geometric shapes is kind of our sweet spot. Nice. Great. So you're creating basically like a toolkit for people to create what they want to create That's and right. things that they work together, kind of like Legos. That's right. So what's your favorite color and your favorite shape? I want to know that. You know, if you ask me this question monthly, it's going to change. So I'm going to give you the very first thing that came to my mind. And that is the large hexagon in Vermont pine is my favorite. I think that shape and color is like our little black dress. I think it's just going to always be relevant. It is glamorous in any space. I think if you run into it 40, 50 years from now, you're just going to love it just as much. So it's been really fun to have that. And I also feel like, did we borrow it from London 100 years ago? Like, it's just so timeless and good. Okay, so 2020 has just turned the world really upside down. I'm wondering, what are you doing to navigate this new digital shopping experience? We actually have done a lot of improvements to our website, and we're continuing to do a lot of improvements to them. So essentially making sure whether you were coming in in person or shopping on the site, you're seeing the full collection that's available. That's been our number one priority, but we're also adding something uh, in less than a couple of weeks, a very advanced search function on our site. So we want you to feel like you're on the Google of our tile and we're really making our site kind of this one-stop shop for a lot of research throughout the journey of your project. Like locally, instead of being able to come in and view samples, we're giving you complimentary samples. Or if you're a member of the trades, we're going to give you samples and just simply have you cover the shipping. Just these little steps. So we're still being responsible to ourselves and our business, but we're also you know, going that extra step, step to help people explore handmade tile that might not have otherwise been with us.
So as an artist, because I think deep down we all are and will always be artists, right? So what are some unexpected ways that you would like to see your tile used? When they get installed on a wall and there's no straight edges. Like I really like people using the wall not as just a functional backsplash or a fireplace, but just simply for permanently installed statement art. Like that's, that's my favorite thing that people do. You sent us some really beautiful pictures of your tiles used as artworks themselves. Can you talk a little bit about that and how you've seen that used? But sporadically through the years, our clients haven't necessarily wanted to install something permanently, but they're a fan of ours. So framed art really comes from that place. And that's really where it started as I had first made things that were art and accessories for the home. Okay, so the last question that we have for you here today on Shelter TV is, what is next for Mercury Mosaics? What you're going to expect in 2021 is really a lot of play with our ability to blend colors and to create more custom mixes based on the new addition of this shape that we have. So we design and manufacture uh, two product lines, soon to be three product lines with room and board. Okay, that's what you're going to see coming up too, is we're dropping a new product line with them. That's great. Thank you so much, Mercedes, for joining us at Shelter TV today. We're super excited and we cannot wait to see all those collections coming up, especially the one with room and board. We're very excited about that. And uh, best of luck with everything. And we would love to have you back when you have more fabulous things to show us. I would love to be back. And thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate you both. And your platform is incredible. I can only think of amazing things that will happen as the years go on. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Very kind. Wow, Peter. Wasn't that an amazing conversation? I love, and I cannot wait her collection with room and board. I know. I can't wait to see it. We'll definitely, definitely be having her back in a few months once it's launched. So stay tuned. And thank you to all of you out there for watching Shelter TV. We love you. Thank you for tuning in. And please stay tuned for more exciting collaborations coming soon. This has been Ariane in Seattle. And I'm Peter in New York City. And you have been watching Shelter. Shelter.